Today, I'm going to Walmart to find the new Infinite Forbidden Mini Boxes with the tokens and hopefully a QCR Millennium Shield. Scanning it, see how much it is. Oh, Ooh, $18. That's a lot of money. Dang, structure bags are $13? All right, we are back from Walmart. Uh, this this trip was totally unintentional. I did not mean to actually find the Infinite Forbidden Boxes because I actually went the other day looking for these. I think it was like Thursday or something. Like, so like the day before, like full release. And I was like, ah, they're not going to be out yet. And they weren't. So then I'm like, okay, I'll just wait till next week. Then I actually ended up going to Walmart again that night because I needed to actually get something from Walmart. It was a different Walmart. And I walked by and I was like, wait, when did they put the cards back out here? Boom, there they were. The Infinite Forbidden Mini Boxes and the Life Sworn Decks or whatever those things are called. So I ended up grabbing a bunch of stuff as you guys saw, which is exciting because not only are these really cool, but we have not actually finished our goal with this set if you guys saw the big live stream the other day. So we still need to pull the QCR Millennium Shield. Um, yeah, so we've got a lot of work to do. I ended up grabbing five of these mini boxes because I was like, you know what? Let's just get the tokens out. Let's try to pull something big. I don't think I, I hadn't done the live stream yet, so I didn't know if I would or would not have the shield. And uh, guess what? I thought I would have the shield because we had plenty of packs. I thought I was wrong. I did pick up all these uh, Realm of Light structure decks as well. And one of these will be the giveaway. We're giving away a sealed Realm of light uh structure deck just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below do you think that these infinite forbidden mini boxes are worth it i think they did these for legacy of just no no legacy uh phantom nightmare and then what was the other one maybe another one but these cost me 17 dollars 92 cents per and by the way the, the structure deck 12 dollars 94 cents when did they become more than 10 dollars like that seems expensive so pretty cool deck. I mean, there's a lot of great stuff in here, but still 1294. That was pretty brutal. But oh, well, let's give ourselves a chance to pull the Infinite Forbidden uh, QCR Millennium Shield one more time here. Hopefully, I mean, if we get it out of here, it's going to be absolutely blessed. I mean, but as you guys have seen recently, I have not been blessed with the cards that I actually want. Like I'm trying to pull specific cards. We always get the other cards. So that's kind of what's happened in the last two sets with Terminal Revenge and the Infinite Forbidden and hoping I'm hoping at least that this will stop right here and we'll pull something that we actually want. Uh, no, I would not be mad if we pulled more engravers. I still don't know how to open these because it seems like you're supposed to open them like this way, maybe. But I don't know how that even happens. So I don't know. Here's our first token. So that's the exclusive part of these. These tokens only come in these mini boxes. That's a Yugi and Dark Magician token. Looks great, but honestly, why? I mean, it feels like we've gotten this token maybe seven other times, just slightly different poses. Yugi and a Dark Magician. I mean, is that new? Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But that one seems a little bit standard, right? Okay, let's keep going. Let's try to pull something. Infinite Forbidden. I've already opened over 2,000 packs of this set, as you guys know. Uh, I guess I can do four from the back, right? We pulled a lot of great cards. I mean, a lot of really good cards. Unfortunately, though, the one... Yeah, another sad story is I did finally pull the Exodia out of here, the cover card, Rux and Special. And I accidentally listed it on TCG Player when I was doing my listings. So somebody bought it, obviously. And then I'm like, you know, I could cancel the order. But then I'm like, well, they bought it. I listed it. And I, it's not like I don't cancel orders if I don't have the card. Like sometimes they'll buy a card and I'm like, whoops, I think I like sold it already or something. I have to cancel that because I don't have the option. But unfortunately, I had the card. So I was like, I guess I'll fulfill the order. So I sold it. It was unfortunate because it was $38. It was so not worth it because I really, I really just wanted to grade it. I thought it was going to be sweet. But I ended up accidentally selling it. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to cancel the order. This person could be happy with the order. So if it was you in the in the comments, I didn't mean to sell you that. So just be happy you got it. <laughs> just be happy. It looked like a PSA 10 to me. So if you want to grade it, you can maybe get a PSA 10. Great deal for you. A little bit sad for me, but you know what? Brew me. There we go. Let's take that brew me out. Uh, I, I, I would I would have rather fulfilled the order than cancel and the try to, you know, grade it myself. It just would have felt a little bad, you know, uh, Mimigool, because that's just, yeah, I just I just didn't feel good about that. So Infinite Forbidden, hopefully maybe I'll pull another one then at some point, because we're going to have to pull this Millennium Shield at some point, right? I mean, I want this thing even more than the Dragon Master Magia, which is saying something. We have Guardian, Kochibo with Lightning Sublimation Dragon, Dripress Pard, what all changes are, we haven't pulled anything out of this mini box, by the way, Gimmick Puppet and... Okay, Mimi Gold Master. That was like a $5 Ultra yesterday, but you guys know how it goes. These new set prices can vary uh, a lot, up or down, so I don't know what it is now. Yeah, let's keep going. Oh, and also, yeah, on the Walmart clips, yeah, that was because it was an impromptu visit, you know, there's no mic or anything, so I know it didn't sound great, but I was like, yeah, it's better to have a clip than, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I wanted to show that I did find some Infinite Forbidden boxes, actually more than some. There was 
a, there was like i think 10 or 12 of them out there there's a bunch and then uh they had a bunch of the structure decks as well okay this is a token of, i don't know who this is this must be from something past 5ds so it looks like it's gonna be the trainer and their monster that is pretty cool it, it's a little bit cooler to see. i mean I hate to say it's not cool with Yugi. It just, I feel like I've seen it before. You know what I mean? That one I don't think I've seen before. So that's pretty cool. All right. Infinite Forbidden. Only 20 packs to be open today. So the chances of actually pulling the shield are very, very low. But if I did keep all of my Millennium Shields, though, the Ultra Rares, I think we have 23 of them or something. I was like, that's what I'm going to keep. I kept my Dark Magicians. Of course, I didn't accidentally list those and they were off centered. I did list the one who was centered. So it's like, why couldn't I have listed the Dark Magician by accident? But that's okay. I still have my two Dark Magicians we pulled. One, two, three, four from the back. We have the Adora Door, the Explorer Guardian, Coachabo, Lion and Sublimation Dragon, Fiendsmith Sequence, Maiden, Fiendsmith, and Adel that's a Ruxa special to Fiendsmith Desiree. Okay, we have literally only pulled one non super rare so far. Not feeling too much different from the live stream the other day. If you guys missed it, go watch it. We did pull a lot of amazing cards. It was a super fun stream. It was like eight hours. I got a little sassy at some points. Uh, you know, I, I was feeling weird the other day. I don't know what it was. I was just like, uh. <laughs> And yeah, my back was killing me. It still hurts. So hopefully that'll that'll calm down soon. It's been hurting quite a bit. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm dragging the Armor Knight Dragon. Cool. Moon of the Close Heavens, Zapper Shrimp. Necro Equip Princess, Service Puppet Play. Madolche Dessert, Fiend Smith Sequence. Aerial Eater, re Reprint of Air Eater. And Syngogen Wakes from a Millennium. I was surprised that this card was a few bucks. It's like $3, I think. So it's pretty solid all right two ultras no secrets yet there are a lot of great secrets in here especially the uh, fiendsmith engraver that is a last I, when i sold them they were 98 dollars. so i that was that was nice it's always nice to have a big 98 dollar card in there when you're opening a lot of packs which uh by the way the tweet on twitter <laughs> pretty much blew up for how many packs we opened and we didn't get the shield so uh, a lot of varying opinions on that so <laughs> that was interesting uh yeah like 2300 likes on the tweet Okay, we have uh, Akisa and Black Rose Dragon. That's pretty dope. I mean, it's Black Rose, so that's a pretty good token. That would go really well with, like, Edison or something. All right, yeah, speaking of, go follow me on Twitter, at Ruxin34, if you guys would like. Also, don't forget to check out the new series, Wheeled Goat. It's been doing pretty well, I think. I mean, people have been enjoying it. I've really enjoyed recording it. It's a nice change up from our normal content, and I really enjoy playing the old Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, so it's super, super fun. I'm going to try to keep it going for a while, at least, you know, we're already at episode five coming up. There's a super rare. Well, actually, episode four, then episode five should be coming the next week. So I think that we at least have those five episodes. And if you guys really like those five, I'll keep going. Real Fooder makes suggestions and stuff. I'll try to tweak it around. I am trying a few of you guys' suggestions for the wheel, for other things we can do. Uh, but keep in mind, if you suggest it, it's going to be a couple weeks later because, you know, I've already recorded some and stuff like that. So it takes a little bit to get into the pipeline of actually updating it with Rusia and Dark Magic Mirror Force. But I am uh, definitely reading those comments, so keep keep uh, posting about what you want to see in Wield Goat. I'm having a ton of fun playing. All right, Trap Gatherer, we have the uh, Volmana of Almonica, another Broomy. He's the most common common. We have Fiendsmith Sanct, Meteora Drytron, Bet and Bat, and maybe Ghoul Dragon, super rare. Okay, still no secret rare so far. They're 1 in 12. We have now opened 12 packs after this pack, so hopefully this is the, uh, the time to get uh, 1 out of 12. We have Guardian of the Voiceless Voice. Dragon's Light and Darkness, Zapper Shrimp, Volmina, Fiend Smith Sequence, we have Fiend Reflection of the Millennium, Maiden of the Millennium Moon, Gimmick Puppet Cattle Scream, and the Roselia, Sinister Soul of the White Forest. Okay, another super rare, not bad. We'll take it, we'll take it. I mean, ultra rare, not super rare. I'm used to, you know what I mean, old school super, new ultra, it's the same thing. Okay, two more mini boxes so far. It has been an okay opening. Let me know in the comments, do I need to get more infinite forbidden? Do we need to attempt to pull, I mean, the, the dragon of, of bonds and unity of love and thunder, whatever that thing's called. Or, and do we need to try, of course, pull the millennium shield? Okay, we got a repeat on this token. Very cool. I think the tokens are the big the big draw to these at the moment. And it's a great set. So that's like a double whammy. You get good packs and you get tokens. And make sure to let me know in the comments. Do you guys think these uh, boxes are worth it? If you guys do not think they're worth it because the packs are too expensive per pack, check out Sassy Auto down below. Get 5% off your cases or your boxes. And uh, it's an affiliate link for me as well. So go check that out down below. You can get cheaper per pack. You won't get any tokens though. So that's kind of like tokens are only in the retail product. We have Drivetron New, Zapper Shrimp, we have Blazing Bombardment, Dark and Evaporation Dragon, Paralyzing Mushroom. Interdimensional, we have a depressed bar. Moments Lance Sleepy and Mimi Ghoul Archfiend. Okay, no QCR so far today, but we are still hoping to get one. 
Hopefully we can get one. One, two, three, four. We have uh, Trap Gatherer. Middle Chain Mini Meow Caroons. We have Princess. Sager Dragon White Forest. Woes. We have Gindamore. Rusia of the White Forest. We have Gimmick Puppet Cattle Screen. And a Madolce Perulia. Madolce, I mean. Sorry, sorry, not Madolce. Malarkey. Sorry, it's the Malarkey card. My bad. I, I screwed it up. Malarkey Perulia. There we go. Not Madolce. Close enough. It's Malarkey. Everybody knows that. All right, so that's a really good card. That was a $30 card when I sold all my cards from the stream, uh, which was very recently. So it's probably around there. We'll see if it went up or down later. We have Dragon, Light, Dark. Well, you guys will see on the screen. Night Arm Dragon, the Armor Night Dragon. Sangin, Main the Millennium Moon, Golden that uh, guards the Millennium Treasures, Meteora, Cosmo Queen, Beware of the White Forest. So we've gotten a secret. It's a good one. Got some pretty decent ultras. All we need now is a QCR to really top this opening off. I rarely get QCRs from Walmart. I'm just going to throw that out there. The ratios are one in four boxes, which is 24 times four, which is 80, 96. So we've only got 20 packs here. So if we get one, we're very, very lucky. We have Moon. And then, of course, to make it specific, the chances of us getting the shield are very, very low. But I, that's why we're still trying. We gotta, just got to hope for it. We have Cosmo Queen and... The uh, Kubiko, very nice, super rare. Okay, last box of the opening, the Infinite Forbidden Retail Product. This did not cut, we gotta, I even sharpened the knife the other day. I know, I know, people love to comment about the knife sharpness. I know it's not very sharp, but I sharpened it the other day. I thought it would actually help, but apparently not. All right, I finally got that out, that was a pain. Next stream, by the way, we're. Uh, <laughs> this made me think of, because well, I had this off camera, you know, people be like, if we pull it here, they'll be like, well, it wasn't on camera. I was like, the, the way the perfect way I was talking about to satisfy the haters of uh of like, why don't you just buy the card? It's only 20 bucks. We, we talked about this on Twitter. It's just next stream. We're like, all right, getting the new card that I want and then just going on TCG player and buying it. That's going to be the next stream. So for, for Millennium Shield. <laughs> okay, there's another Yugi. Next stream with Millennium Shield. We're just going to get online. We're going to all go to TCG player and buy it and end the stream. It'll be uh, a three minute stream. It'll be great. One, two, three, four. We have Dark and Evaporation Dragon. We have Blazing Bombardment. That's 10. Sangin. Paralyzing Mushroom. Cosmo Queen. We have Momentous Land Sleepy. Interdimensional Matter Forward. And Magical Idol Soul. Not Jedi Master Soul. Great show, by the way. Let's keep going. <laughs> Let's keep going. One, two, three, four. We have Moon of the Close Heaven. Sylvie. Three and one. Coach Bow. Golem. The League of the Uniform Nomenclature. Fiend Reflection. Beats Miss Sanct and Mimi Cool Room. Okay, two packs left in this opening. If you guys have enjoyed it so far, don't forget to subscribe because at 250k, we are going to be opening every pack ever made, including Infinite Forbidden, which I do have one pack sitting right there. Who knows? It could have the QCR shield. If we pull it in that video, that would be wild. We have Cosmic Tree, Guardian, Dark Evaporation, Dragon Rocks, Special. Broomy is back. Bet and Bat, Rusia. Medolce Dessert, Ruxin Special added again. I feel like this set specifically, I cannot stop Ruxin Specialing. Not surprising, last pack magic, infinite forbidden. Here we go. Chance of the QCR, let's go. We have Dragon, Dragon's Light and Darkness, Light and Sublimation Dragon, Sylvie. Three and one, Gimmick Puppet Rogue Doll, Fiend's Miss Sequence, Gimmick Puppet Cattle Scream, Aerial Leader, and our last chance at the Millennium Shield today. Here we go. Silhouette trick. This is the worst ultra in the set. Okay, at least it's cool. It reminds me of Arcana. That's fun. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments about these tokens, these retail products that have the tokens. They're guaranteed, but they're kind of like four plus dollars a pack, about four fifty a pack. Let me know down below if you think it's worth it, and uh, if you want to see these in the future, I'll keep doing them whenever the new sets come out, and I'll see the new tokens and stuff. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Nesto Dian, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa Junior, Barding, Robert F, Chang Lang, and Adelso Garcia Junior. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.